Dorset is best known for two things, being the self-proclaimed restaurant capital of the world and electing a three-year-old mayor by the name of James Tufts. But it's re-election season at the annual Dorset Days. Could Tufts be taken down? Matt Henson has more. He may be small, but he has done big things. We are voting for you. Four-year-old James Tufts is campaigning for last-second votes. What are you going to change? Hoping to win re-election as mayor of Dorset. How do you think your first term as mayor went? Great. Why do you think it went so great? Because I'm being so awesome. Don't dare vote for anybody else. <laughs> that would be sacrilegious. <laughs> so cute, freckles and red hair. You can't get more American than that. He was the past mayor. James's older brother Robert, who was just seven, is the only mayor of Dorset to serve two terms. He provided his little brother with key advice on the campaign trail. No poopy talks. James was not shy on weighing in on the race for the White House. I hate Donald Trump. I don't like Donald Trump. I just like Hillary and Bernie Sanders. But two and a half year old Ava Seats was looking to unseat James. She was also looking to break his record as youngest mayor ever. James was just three when he was elected last August. I'm kind of afraid and not kind of afraid. Why are you kind of afraid? Because if she does win, win then I'm pretty much going to not be mayor anymore. Pushing an agenda of free puppies and kitties for everyone, making the Tufts camp nervous. Because she's cute and he's not too cute. The name is Gwendolyn Davis, age four, of Salt Lake City, Utah. So yet another preschooler will run the town of two dozen. A stunned Tufts fought back a temper tantrum. I hate that. I just hate that. Though visibly upset, no, I'm not we did ask if he plans to run again in 2017. I guess so. All right, as you heard, Tufts will run for re-election next year, but in the meantime, he says he's got to do a lot of fishing. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.